like about the school is the shape. Not like any ordinary school. It's like a slanted shape, like built in a passionate way. The first impressions of the school when you walk in is, wow, is this really a primary school? And because of the light and the colours in the windows that allow the light in, it just makes it a fun space and an open space and an airy space. My grandmother will talk about whether a building is happy or not and whether or not you want to spend time there. And this is very much a happy building. It sort of smiles at you as you walk through. It's a wonderful building. And the artwork that's been included as well and the open space on the walls that allows the artwork to take place just really sets it off as a fantastic learning environment. From the beginning, Archetype came into our old sites. They got to know how we worked and our vision for how we wanted education in this school to be. They knew what we wanted. They did workshops with the children, asked them what they wanted. And then there was a consultation with the parents as well. And if we hadn't have had all those consultations, there would have been elements in this school that we wouldn't have. The fact that the whole building is designed in a position so that we get maximum daylight questions people. They say, oh, so doesn't that affect whiteboards and things like that? Well, we have whiteboards in every classroom. And actually, the architects did a lot of light analysis so that they ensured that the whiteboards were in the right position so that they could be utilised throughout the day. I really like the windows and when the sun comes out the colours come on the walls and I like the smell of the wood. I like this school because it's really beautiful and big and the infants and the juniors are together. I like it because you can work outside even when it rains. Working in reception, it's great because we can bring the learning environment outside with no trouble now because we've got the sliding doors that you can just slide open. We could create two classes into one because we've got the sliding doors within the classroom now. So you can have that privacy, but then you can have 60 children all in one area as well. So it's great in that respect. I don't just work here. My little boy comes to this school as well. I'm part of the community as well. It's so nice in the morning to hear the parents coming up to me and say how they love the school. They're always praising the building. It's really done wonders for the area, really, to be honest with you. The building is loved by the community and I think the government have got this agenda about they want every primary school to be an extended school. So therefore because we've got this whole area which is a community designated facilities added on to our two form entry primary school, we can do lots of different activities throughout the day. So it ranges from breakfast club, we've got childcare, parenting groups and links with the, the college as well. So lots of different people in the community utilise that area. I like the school because it has lots of modern technology like the automatic windows and lights and also the underfloor heating. Sustainability never used to be that important to me. I learned about it at school and it was something that was theoretical. So the idea that so much of the school could be built with sustainable products and with renewable resources are fantastic. But not just that, but it's recycling those hard to recycle elements like the car tyres that have gone into the flooring and newspapers and so forth. I think it's fantastic how it all ties in together. We've got our fabulous wood chip boiler which is warming the school and that's far cheaper than a, a normal standard gas boiler. Having this building is helping us to sort of look at how we as children and staff and parents can also put our bit there to sort of help protect our world and so we shall have some eco monitors who will be going around the school and looking at turning off lights, recycling. Everybody seems better and comfortable in this school because it's better for the environment and everybody feels comfortable doing their work. It's not a school building that's 
an architect's model. Everything's been thought of, so when you need something, there's somewhere that it's stored that you can easily access it, and the space then to use the different equipment. I mean, before we'd struggle with music lessons because of disturbing someone else, but now we've got acoustic rooms where we can not disturb the group next door. I mean, the sound quality in the place is fantastic. You do notice that when you're in one room, you can't hear what's going on in the other rooms. And this school is fantastic for the group work as well. When we're drawing groups to another area of the school for quiet work and for one-to-one -one and that sort of intervention work. Whereas previously, we used to have to have them in the classroom, so you've got the noise of the class out doing what you're trying to do with a quiet group and it's just so much easier now it's so much more relaxed and children are more relaxed into their work as well I think a building can have an impact on your physical health and your mental health, especially in the hot weather. So staff, rather than feeling hot and groggy and tired because of the heat, they felt refreshed because the building is designed so well that it was just cool and you just felt relaxed. I like the big windows because it makes the school nice and bright. With these fantastic windows letting so much light in, you don't have to have the lights on all the time and uh, I used to suffer quite a lot with headaches and with the old strip lights it always had to be on because you couldn't get the lighting right. In this school I don't go home with headaches now and the children are commenting on how much easier it is to work in this school because of the lights, because of the air in the space. There's no sort of stuffy air anymore because the windows will open automatically and it enables the children to concentrate better and because they're concentrating better it means I can concentrate on what I'm meant to be doing and on teaching rather than behaviour management. So sometimes you can be bowled over by the magnificent spaces that you can sometimes forget those small details but in fact they're important and they make the building what it is. I love my school because it's got lots of pieces of artworks and the children are really kind to one another. It's helping me as a person to grow. People that come say, oh, it's not very big from the outside. And then when you take them round and they see all the spaces that we've got, they're actually amazed. There's been the research, and obviously, that lots of corridors is where antisocial behaviour and bullying can happen. So we looked at getting rid of all the corridors and utilising that space so that we could make a shared area, so that one day it could be used for food and then the next day it can be used for art and craft. You can have ICT out there, you can have a small group doing numeracy and I think that's what the idea of the flexible working space has been. The thing that I really like about this school is the lockers. They're big, you can put loads of things in there and they're colourful. It's like it's a secondary school. I really like the playground because they're nice and big and there's games on there that we can play. The playground layout is different. Before we had big, square, concrete, uninspiring, hard surfaces. Here the children are surrounded by natural planting and the trees. To me, that's one of the things that makes this... It doesn't seem as if it's a new building because of how much effort was taken to preserve as many of the trees on the site as possible. It's embedded straight away within the landscape of the area. We've just had a, another Ofsted inspection. I was here for the first one and we got a satisfactory in that. And we've just got a good in our latest Ofsted, and, uh, which we're thrilled about, obviously, and the building has helped towards that because we can now have the intervention groups that we need to encourage children to improve. You know, we're on track for our value added and uh, it's superb and it means that now that we are very capable of getting a good and more in the future as well. There's architects who want to just design buildings so they look fabulous and they look wonderful from the outside, whereas Archetype, they want to design a building that's practical, that looks wonderful, is different, but does work. And I think that's what makes Archetype different. They've got that passion. They don't want to just design a building. They want to design a building that's sort of going to influence people's lives and make them think. As you walk up to the building, it looks absolutely fantastic just to see all that wood and you know that uh, it, it, it's moving with the 21st century. This building allows children to collaborate and to talk to each other and to find each other and find themselves and it's given them a new confidence. It's a building that really does allow the child to fulfil their full potential. 
everyone who helped to make the school should feel proud of themselves. It's a wonderful school and I think children that come here will enjoy it.